Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. And how do you understand the Best Buy dates? Do you actually understand the Best Buy dates? Well, oh wait, we have a special guest. What's up, Bernie? How you doing, man? You look like you're a little warm. Hate to tell you, you're in Florida. You don't need all that kind of stuff. But anyways, back to what I was talking about. How do you understand the Best Buy dates? You got all these little numbers all over these things. What do they do? What do they mean? That's what we're going to cover next on Survival Preparedness for Beginners. So stay tuned and we're going to get in detail on what's going on with all these Best Buy dates and what the truth is on all this kind of stuff. Stay tuned. Okay, so we're back and this is how to understand the Best Buy dates. Now I have a couple of little notes here that I printed off the computer so I could get you all the proper information that you are probably looking for, especially if you're new to prepping. Your Best Buy date. This date guarantees the period of time in which the product will be at its best flavor or quality. When bread will still taste soft and crackers will still taste crisp. The food will remain edible after this date, and it is not about food safety, but about taste. Remember that. A sell-by date. This date is determined by producers to inform sellers when to remove items from the shelves. The goal is to ensure that customers receive the item at its optimal quality, which can last for several days to several weeks past the date, depending on the item. Milk, for instance, according to Consumer Reports, should last five to seven days past its sell-by date if stored properly. There's that word again, stored properly. Pay too close attention, people. Use by date. This is the last day the producer guarantees the best quality of the product again, except for cases of infinite formula. This is not safety data nor a mandatory label. Food producers and manufacturers have a legal obligation to include either a best before or use by date on their food. Supermarkets and retailers can legally sell produce that has passed its best before date, but cannot sell, keyword, cannot sell food that has been passed its best used by date. Since used by is related to safety rather than quality. And one more, with the exception of infant formula, the laws that the Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, administrator do not preclude the sale of food that is past the expiration date indicated on the label. The FDA does not require food firms to place expired by, used by, or best before dates on food products. So it's not regulated by the government. So you're asking yourself, how do I understand the Best Buy dates? And why is this just so damn confusing, right? Now, <clears throat> contrary to popular belief, none of these dates actually tell us when, you know, if the food stops being safe to eat. Now, does it? There's nothing that says it's written in stone that, ah, you know, you probably shouldn't eat that. In fact, food can still be good way past the date on the label, according to the food safety experts. One example, eggs. Eggs can be eaten up to three to five weeks past their date, whatever's on the carton. Did you know that? Wow, so you don't have to throw them right out. And there's a way to test your eggs. I did a video on it, how you can put them in water or water with vinegar. And yeah, there's, there's ways if eggs float, you have to go back and watch the video. I'll put a little link for you. The USDA says canned and dried foods 
can be safe and definitely to eat. Check for sign for spoilage, like changes in smell. You know, you got to use your nose. Talked about this. Color, texture, those type of things. You know, if it's cans, if it's bulging or, you know, swelling up. If it's rusted, eh, you probably don't want to eat it. Did you know that milk is one of the exceptions to the rule when it comes to spoilage? Because even when it's spoiled, it's still totally safe to drink because it has been pasteurized, which has removed all the bacteria that can make you sick before you actually get it and drink it. So even if you did have to drink spoiled milk, it's not going to kill you. Probably not going to taste too good, but it's not going to kill you. Harvard University put out a report stating that Americans trash over 160 billion pounds of perfectly good food every year. And that is roughly 40% of our food supply chain is thrown away in the trash yearly. The date on a lot of products are very confusing to the American public. And they did do one survey and they found that 83% of Americans throw food out based on the best buy date. So what is the rule of thumb and how to understand the best buy dates? I'm going to put a couple of links below in the description. And there's a couple of different, there's a calculator and there's an article and you can go in because some things don't put, um, you know, they, they may not have a best buy date, but they do have these other numbers. And I found a calculator that you all may be able to use and you can plug in the numbers. It tells you what to look for. You plug those numbers in and they'll tell you basically exactly what month, what day and what year that product was packaged right down to good old candy. So one thing you also want to remember, when you are storing your products and everything else, everything needs to be stored in a cool, dry place. And one way you can surely tell if something isn't good is by using your eyes, nose, and your mouth. I've talked about this in a video before. You know, look at the product, look at the can, if it's bulging, if it's rusty, those type of things. Well. You may not want to eat it. If the can looks perfectly fine, you have to move on to step number two. You have to open it up and take a whiff. Smell the product. Make sure this product smells good. Make sure the product smells like it's supposed to smell like. So if you're prepping what you're supposed to be prepping as far as what things you would eat in an emergency situation, not things you wouldn't eat, you're probably going to know what those things should smell like. You go off of your nose. And then for the last little experiment, if you want to, you make sure that everything is very good and ready for you to consume or your family, you want to taste the product. Get a spoon, fork, spork, whatever it may be, and taste the product. See how the product tastes. Make sure the product still has the same taste that you know that it should have and that nothing has changed. This way here, you've just used the three senses to make sure that your product is still good, no matter what kind of a product it may be, from milk or orange juice, um, right down to canned goods and dry goods and everything else, you probably can get a pretty good idea if it is still good and still healthy to eat. More than likely, it will be if you have stored it in a cool, dry place. As you can see, we always keep falling back to the cool, dry place because that's how you have to store your emergency stockpile food of any kind and to ensure that it is going to survive. So, once again, this has been Survival Preparedness for Beginners, which is me. And this has been How to Understand the Best Buy Dates. I will put some links below for your viewing pleasure so you can check out some of this kind of stuff. And... Always remember, stay safe, keep prepping, and until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.